645, let's get your Storm Team 6 forecast. We get a break in the uh, weather that could bring severe uh, wind, gusty winds, mm -hmm. so enjoy it today. Yes, because some more rain is on the way, like Mark said. Todd, what do you got for us? Yeah, rain, storms, the threat of severe weather tomorrow. We just talked about the south will be under the threat of severe weather once again throughout the day tomorrow as well. This morning, as you walk out the door, here's a live look across the campus of IU down in Bloomington, and there's a lot of moisture out there, kind of a damp feeling, but all the steady rainfall has moved out, so that is good news as you start off your Tuesday here. 54 in Muncie and Bloomington, 53 is the current temperature in Indianapolis, and I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time on the day today because really not much is going to change, to be honest with you. We'll have cloudy skies from start to finish at any point throughout the day today. There could be a little bit of patchy drizzle, nothing heavy, nothing that would really cancel any outdoor plans if you do have them, and because of the cloud cover, temperatures will not move much at all, going from where we are right now in the low 50s to a high temperature right around 60 degrees, and the shower threat today or the sprinkles are just part of this lower area, low pressure to our north. It may pinwheel a quick little sprinkle around it into central Indiana, and that is just about it. But here's the developing storm system for tomorrow that's going to quickly start to make its way eastward. And the Storm Prediction Center has almost all of Indiana under some threat of severe weather. And you can kind of think of this as categories from one to five, with one being the marginal and five being the high risk. And the enhanced risk is in that three threat range from Blue Bloomington over towards Richmond, down towards Seymour, Columbus over to Cincinnati. Slight risk from Indianapolis to Lafayette over towards Muncie. So what does this all mean? It means as we go throughout the day tomorrow, we're going to build in the threat of severe weather. There will be some scattered showers around throughout the course of the morning hours tomorrow with temperatures in the 40s. But the severe threat is going to arrive after about 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So let's go over to TrueCast. Here we are at 1 o'clock. And the early afternoon time frame is going to be key to the forecast. The more sunshine shine we see, the more instability we build into the atmosphere. The more instability we have, the greater potential for some stronger storms tomorrow. So the best thing that could happen to us is we stay overcast, we get some showers in here early in the day, and we don't build in that instability. But it does, ex we do expect to see some sh uh, sunshine, and as we go throughout the course of the afternoon and evening hours, look how these individual cells start to build in. And so it's individual cells that have the best chance of producing an isolated tornado across the area. Also so some hail and wind will accompany these storms. We're better off with just a line of storms because that would produce wind damage, but that would decrease the likelihood of any tornadoes across the area. So we'll have to see how it plays out. But definitely between the hours about 4 and 9 p.m. tomorrow, we will have the threat of some strong to severe storms. All elements of severe weather on the table, tornadoes, hail, wind damage, all kind of in the moderate category for the day tomorrow. So we're in the 60s tomorrow with the storms. Then the cold front comes through. As as we transition into Thursday, it's a windy day for us. Temperature is only 38 to 42 degrees, so it will be a drastic change. It will not be a pleasant day for us whatsoever. As we go from those spring-like storms to more of a winter-like feel throughout the day on Thursday, you'll definitely have to bundle up. The good news is it does not stick around very long. We'll be near freezing both Friday and Saturday morning, but both days will rebound with sunshine up to 62 degrees on Saturday. By Sunday, we'll be at 73 degrees for our high temperature, so it's kind of a rocky road towards the weekend, but once we get there, Lauren, the weather's going to shape up to be pretty nice.